uh, looking to capitalize on a fun night out in the nation's capital, you can check out a uniquely curated space known as the HQDC House, built to advance, educate, elevate people of color through collaboration, creation, and communication. It's inspired by the need to uplift others and lay the foundation for the next generation. Our ABC's Ike Ajachi joined the founders, John and Michael Burns, on a tour of one of the hottest new spots to network. Let's take a look. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's a first of its kind club on the DCC. HQ DC House is a members only luxury kind of social and culture house based here in Washington, DC. Four stories and 12,000 square feet of workspaces, lounges, a barista, a wellness space, and even a room for music sessions. And it's built to support and mobilize people of color. There's no real space for you to go that feels luxury, that feels special, uh, to where you can either go to interact with people or you can just kind of come to just decompress and be yourself. That's Mike and John Burns. The corporate executive and attorney are the creators of HQ House. For a fee, the Burns brothers say members will have access to all of these spaces to network and collaborate. There's very high-end kind of co-working opportunities during the day. During the weekend, on the weekends too, we're having about 15 events and activations a month. They're aiding and abetting the dreams of others, namely people of color. The Burns Brothers firm getting some help with a little star power. What John and Mike are really attempting to do, and I think they're pulling it off with flying colors, they're educating while giving opportunity. I need you out in these streets. I'm out the game. Award-winning actor Amari Hardwick played Ghost in the hit show Power. He's known the brothers for nearly 15 years, working with them on several ventures. The Burns brothers have really become, in their own right, a sort of movement. A movement that's in their blood. Dr. Diana Burns Banks is their mother. She provided health care to children living in poverty by creating one of Texas's largest private pediatric practices. Raised in the 50s and 60s, Dr. Burns Banks was one of the first students to desegregate her school in Meridian, Mississippi. And it's a real strange to see discrimination as such a form where you can come and sit in a room and everybody moves their chair away from you. But you it, rather than making you feel alone, it made you feel determined, it made us feel determined that we would, no matter what, we would succeed. She enrolled her boys into military school, where they both earned high honors. Mike went on to fly Apache helicopters in Afghanistan and Iraq, and was selected by General David Petraeus to lead the rebuild of four cities in northern Iraq. His brother John became the first black partner in his law firm, eventually coming together again to build up their communities through their multiple companies. We have a core DNI and talent and culture company called the Koi Collective. We have a marketing communication company called Manchester Park. Um, we have a celebrity speaker series called Icon Talks. Um, and we also have an event production company. It's an idea that started in the summer of 2020. Hands up! Hands up! When racial justice protests erupted across the country following the killing of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police officers. In my office, I have my TV in my background, and it's playing the eight and a half minute video over and over and over of George Floyd. And I was like, how in the world is this phone call gonna change the situation for my two little black boys so it never becomes like what's happening on the TV? And I humped the phone call, I picked up the phone and called John, and I said, do you wanna go out and change the world? Both brothers left their lucrative corporate jobs to go all in on the Burns Brothers firm. They're breaking down stereotypes and setting strong, positive examples for the next generation. And that networking is so critical. Yeah. Our thanks to Ike Ajachi for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.